Okay, here's an experiment. These are uh, mature Swiss chard plants that I had over there in that in that bed, about in that area. And I transplanted them because they're beautiful. This is a uh, basically a flower bed. Those are sunflowers, and I have some sunflower seeds in there as well. But yeah, let's see if these Swiss chard can make it through the transplant. It's kind of rough on them. They're all wilty looking. The daisies are coming up. This is all collard greens. And they were all at the end of the bed here. Yanked them. Today, we got the first tomato plants in. These last here are Costaluto Genovese. Got two black crim there. Four mortgage lifters here. And four more black crim. That poor guy bent over with that tomato on him. This one seems to be okay. This part of the bed will get uh, peppers and eggplants, I imagine. It's a late start this year. It was, it was in the uh, mid to upper 30s a few days ago. Actually, the fire going. I'm saving these for seeds. We have uh, bok choy and um, broccoli rob there. That's a lot of seeds. And the flower bed. Mostly self-seeded. Popped a few things in. Popped a little Swiss chard in. We'll see if it makes the transplant. But these are flowers we had last year. And they just dropped their seeds. And so we still have flowers. We did put in that... Um, Dill, a parsley, more dill, more dill, a Swiss chard, and this is all, if you could smell it, it's too bad you can't, it's oregano, it smells great. Self-seeded from plants that we had over there in those containers. Gardening 2020. Oh, and the cherry tree just dropped its blossoms the other day ago. Here they come. Here come the cherries. All right now. <laughs>